I've done videos before regarding um, learning how to sew and what um, boys and girls can do, especially with a Model 20 or a Gateway, um, to learn how to sew. It's really an art and a talent and a skill. And this is the Sunbeam Sewing Kit, which I believe I've mentioned before with the Sunbeam handheld stitcher. Um, it comes with a pin cushion, needles, um, snaps, um, plenty of thread. There are 13 spools like this and then six of these. There are 12 bobbins, buttons, two kinds of buttons, safety pins, hook and eyes, hooks and eyes, a seam ripper. These scissors look like they're um, safety scissors, but they're not. They actually do cut fabric. Um, a seam ripper, I think I said that already, and um, thread snips, a thimble, a chalk marker, and plastic brush in case you make a mistake, and a tape measure, and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful kit. It's made by Sunbeam. Um, it probably is made in China. You could always replace some of the items with your favorite tools if you wanted to. Um, but I found in the past few days when I've been doing um, star designs on blocks, trying to determine which way I'm going to do a quilt, um, I found out that the gateway and the chain stitching um, is not really frustrating, but they're chain stitch machines, so it takes a little bit more time to make sure the seam is uh, locked, make sure that the spacing is right. Um, so this morning I went to this uh, sewing box, which I haven't opened before, because what I wanted to do, and I'll show you these in a minute, but you've seen me do a couple of videos with these. Now what I ended up doing, and I guess for young children it could it could lead to quilts, but we talk so often about quilts, I think we forget um, a sense of heritage sewing. So you've all seen me use simple machines, um, the Gateway, the Model 20 is uh, these, and what I did this morning was I hand pieced the um, 12 blocks together randomly. So there are 12 stars, and I'm putting this on the back of a cross stitch our father. Now, why are projects like this important? Well, um, for many reasons. It's not only prayer, but text is very easily done on cross stitch. This is a type of fiddler's cloth, but text, this is one of the most beautiful ways to do any text. As you can tell by the flowers, it's also a beautiful way to design and use thread or floss for, for paint. You can even take it to the crayon level. This is the one I'm working on now. And I, I get tired sometimes of counting. Or in this case, I was trying to see what the colors would look like before I went ahead and started cross-stitching them. So I've, gone, oh, I've almost done with the text, but I've gone over these with crayons and then ironed it to remove the wax, ironed it on the wrong side. And so now, this is a little bit more portable for me because I know exactly where the colors go without looking at a chart or... Um, this was actually a plain transfer and I could do it any way I want. So you take normal hemming, um, mending, making curtains, making dish towels, all the practical stuff, to kind of an art form of um, not only cross stitch but sewing. So now a project was making the backing, deciding whether or not I want batting in there because I left quite a bit of fabric, um, which might be it might be visible that there's a large hem on the cross stitch piece. Um, but I decided not to put batting in there. And now what I'm going to do, instead of taking a machine and putting a machine edge on it, I'm going to just do a blind stitch all the way around. 
where you pick up one side, then you pick up the next side, you pick up one side, and you go back and forth to close those two together. And then in my case, what that is going to allow me to do is roll these up. I have very uh, little space, and I'm losing more space. So now, just like you keep your silverware in the silverware cabinet, you can keep your things like that. Now, you don't have to do prayers or texts or angels, although there are so many prayers. If, even if you're not religious, there's a beauty in the text. Um, I mean, they, they mean something anyway, even if you're not Catholic or Christian. This is a Protestant version. Um, I think they're both Protestant versions. Um, but this, it's just very pretty on the wall. And by putting a backing on it and going through all of these stages, um, you learn different methods of sewing and hand sewing. And yet, if you decide to frame it, it doesn't stop you from framing it just the way it is. Here's one of my dog I'm doing. Now, in this case, I block printed her image, colored it in uh, in some ways with crayon, and now I'm going in with the cross stitch. And then I will have to make a backing for this one. And they become wall quilts. But wall quilts that have more of a meaning. So if you have a child who wants to learn to sew, um, there are cross-stitch kits that are about $5, and they're for beginning cross-stitchers. I have one, actually, that's a Santa. It's about three inches around, and... Um, I'm not sure if it's counted or pre-printed, but you can get pre-printed ones. So the first lesson would be to do the cross-stitching and then um, finishing it in some way and maybe even hand-sewing a backing like that. It took me about uh, 20 minutes to hand-piece that. So, I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. And I, pr I made it um, random colors and different things, you know. You don't always want um, perfection or official. You want comfortable. And, oh, that looks just comfortable. That's, you know. So then it becomes not a task or somebody saying, now don't forget to go do your sewing, but an exploration of, gee, what fun thing can I make now? And I really found, fiddling with a gateway, fiddling with my grandmother's 99, then this morning I had the Spartan out, um, and it's just a state of mind I'm in right now, but I, I'm more or less saying to myself, I can do it faster by hand. And you will find, if you take up hand sewing, that you may feel the same way sometimes, that everything that comes with a machine is like wearing your snow boots at the beach and picking a set like this and being able to stick it in your backpack or your pocketbook or something is like going barefoot. I mean when you think about it, here's a treadle right behind us. There's my singer treadle and imagine trying to take that to the beach. You know, you'd feel like you had your snow boots on. And it doesn't matter the subject matter. I think it's a matter of taking pride in sewing.